Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Place Black Mesa. This is episode 10, I think, and um, at the end of the last episode we were investigating this rocket, climbing gradually up the ladders and closing off all the doors to it and removing all of these supporting things around it so that it's ready for it to take off. Uh, of course, as usual, there were a handful of soldiers around uh, getting in the way. I shot a couple of them up from this level, but as you can probably hear as well as I can, it's not entirely quiet up there. There's still at least one more, maybe two. So I'm going to try and be a little bit cautious as I come through here. Yikes, not quite cautious enough. Where did that come from? Up there somewhere, I think. Are they all ricocheting off the fence? Oop. Where'd that go? Nowhere near me, good. <laughs> All right, let's try the uh, slightly more accurate weapon in my arsenal. Yeah, those are actually pinging off the that fence. That's not fair. Okay, I think I'm going to have to head up there and deal with him the old-fashioned way. So much for the old-fashioned way. Um, right, this is kind of awkward because he's set up in a position where I, due to glitchy fences, I can't actually see. And I'm stuck on the ladder as well. That's not helpful. And there's a explodey barrel there. Holy shit. At least I assume it's a explodey barrel. Yes, there we go. Don't know if I got him. Yes, I did. Excellent. Oh, that's why I was struggling so much. I've just noticed I'm on 3% health. <laughs> okay, there is a big red button here. I don't want to be in here when that launches. Where's the way out? Seriously, where is the way out? Maybe I'm not going to get toasted? That seems a bit... Oh, I don't know. I just am quite aware that you don't really want to get close to the business end of a rocket when it's about to take off, but, but there's no way out from here, so... Maybe I'm just supposed to watch the fireworks. Uh, attention. Satellite rocket silo reports status green for launch. Maybe I go back down the ladder? Ah, there we go. So now I need to presumably carry on going and find somewhere to actually push, light the blue touch paper. However, first, I'm going to make full use of these uh, health and armor machines because having 17% health or whatever it was I had is not how I like to play. Let's charge up a bit. That's better. Breathe a sigh of relief now. Okay. So that's another one of those lifts that's automatically activated when you drive a train onto it. I've had some bad experiences with one of them recently. Uh, let's go up, go up, up the ladder first and have a look around before before I um, I'm actually brave enough to go up it in the in the train. Okay, that looks fairly harmless, but after. I'm sure you can't blame me for being a little bit paranoid after the last one where there was that um, turret going up on an adjacent lift, taking pop shots at me all the way up.
Going up. I can see the outside world at long last. Can't get there, but you know, I can see it and that's a good start. Easier to render, I suppose. Okay, they're not going to uh, leave me alone, I'm sure. Oh, there's a blast door. Hmm. <laughs> Yikes! Who uses a rocket launcher against a... <laughs> me? Why the... <laughs> Jeez. Ow, what? I'm... Need to stop getting stuck on the... Need to stop getting stuck on walls and things. Just doesn't help. <laughs> That sounds like another of those 50 cals to me. Ah. You know a gun's a bit overpowered when it's so big, so powerful that you, you're getting technically apparently getting hit from all sides at the same time. Whoa. Damn fences that apparently are completely bulletproof. There we go. Oh. Yeah, grenades are very useful, but <laughs> not this sort of range. Wouldn't have helped here. Oh. I, um, yeah, totally forgot that right click was. Oh, there's a splody barrel there. That's useful hindsight. Okay, if I get killed, I shall totally use the splody barrel next time I come around here. Um. Maybe that when I get killed. Squad! Yikes! Two of them. Where did they even come from, anyway? Oh. There's no shooting gallery this time then. I thought I saw a... I thought I saw a health machine. Oh, there it is. Just enough to patch me back up again and... Uh, Get me back onto uh, vaguely ready to take on whatever the next threat is. <sighs> Although with the amount of damage I've had from the last couple of um, attacks, I feel like the attacks are getting more more deadly. So, the ha yes, they're handing out quite a lot of health, but also all the attacks I'm seeing are doing enormous amounts of damage. So, who is this guy? Freeman. They say he was at Ground Zero. The science team. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> what, so you think this guy is responsible? Sabotage, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> All I know for sure is this guy's been killing Marines. Oh, yeah. To be fair, okay. it has been entirely self-defense. will definitely pay. <laughs> Meat raining down out of the sky. Lovely. Although, I'm outside again, that's quite nice. Music has started, that's a worry, that tells me I'm about to get... It thinks this is an exciting part of the game, so no doubt things are about to get dangerous. There's the rocket we just pulled up. 
There's a marine. Or two. And they're a lot more accurate at long range than I am. Also, I think they've got more ammunition. They don't run out. Well, at all. Yeah. Ooh. Right in the crotch, I think. Did I actually injure that one badly enough that you retreated? I think I might have done. How far can I throw one of these? <laughs> not far enough, not by a long shot. Ah. Oh. I don't like these bits of the game. There just aren't any weapons that are good at this sort of range. I suppose that's probably probably deliberate. It's probably supposed to encourage you to push forwards. And actually, to be fair, pushing forwards has helped a bit. Oh, I can't get him. He's far too well hidden. Is anyone going to come running through the gate, or can I throw? Am I going to have time to throw a grenade over the top? That sounded... Yeah, that was messy. That was a, a, a direct hit, I think. Where is he? There he is. That might have been... Yep, yeah, I think that was him. Wow. I think I've actually made it through them, through that uh, group of Marines. Let's have a poke around, see if I can find any useful um, pickups. Because despite having done what I feel was actually reasonably well by my standards, I'm... Um, a bit low on health. Right, so here's the rocket we um, spent all that time preparing. Those limbs flew a long way. Um, so yeah, I used a lot of ammunition getting all those marines, but I can't find most of it. Oh, that's better. There's a group of them down here. Anything in the truck? A couple of boxes. I don't think I can get in there very easily. Let's not bother. Um, that might be where... It, no, it's not where I came out. There's a locked door. Okay, so I think I need to go in here now. Presumably I'm going to find some way of launching that rocket. And I think based on what the scientists were saying, the, um, the rock, launching the I rocket... Oh. Shit. Monsters, hell yeah. But civilians? War at this damn operation anyway.
Oh. Okay, that was through glass. Um. <laughs> ah! <laughs> that was not the gun I thought I had selected. <laughs> Alright, where's the other one? <laughs> okay, that was some quite bad play on my part, I have to admit. Uh, <laughs> so, as far as I can tell, what happened there, I lined up that shot perfectly, fired it, and that just broke this glass to, to an extent. Now, apparently a magnum round, which is capable of doing untold damage to all the critters I've been shooting at, isn't capable of going through a pane of glass and then through a marine as well. So, that, that was a bad start. Then I retreated back in there, turned my tor had my torch off so that the marines didn't see me. I don't even know if they're intelligent enough to spot uh, to spot light like that. Um, and then the next step, I uh, so one of them got the drop on me. I had this glass at the time because I was trying to um, I don't know monkey around between weapons. And then I thought I'd switch to the shotgun, but it was actually the submachine gun. So I used up my last grenade and. Yeah, blew him up, but <laughs> felt a bit stupid about it as well. Right, let's get that rocket launched. Satellite launch system activated. Twenty seconds remaining. I'm gonna get attacked for twenty seconds, perhaps. Fifteen seconds. Maybe I'm just too pessimistic. Ten. they're going to try and land the first stage. Right. Well, that's the objective I've been working for towards for the last um, hour or two done. Onwards. So supposedly that satellite is supposed to give us some sort of edge over the, um, the creatures from Zen and allow us to, um, I don't know, defeat them, presumably. Computer says no. Let's find a, see if we can find a, 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 a still alive scientist. It's very quiet out here. My paranoia is kicking in. <laughs> I wonder if another door has opened or something like that for me to carry on. That's where I went in. That silo door is still closed. Ah, this is new. On the plus side, no grenades left means I can't accidentally right click and blow everything up. Ooh, head crabs. Can I moan about the clipping again? I don't know if you were watching, but I totally tried to fire through this gap here. Like like this. And it ricocheted off well, nothing. Uh... I hear a zombie. Presumably down that hole. Push 
pressure barrel on his head. <laughs> I don't think that does it has any effect at all, but uh, right, there's lots of boxes up here. I'm going to smash all of these and see if I can find anything interesting like that. This is why I break things. Um, because sometimes the game is nice to you and gives you things you could use. What's going on down there? Oh, it was half a zombie. Lovely. There we go, the slightly less subtle approach. There's another um, pool of water down there filled with electricity. Maybe that's the uh, same sort of puzzles we saw earlier in the last episode. I imagine it's probably going to be different, just to keep the uh, the game interesting. But we'll see, when we, we'll see when we get down there. For now I'm just going to have a bit more of a look around here. Nope, that's a dead end as well. So, yes it is. Uh, there's another one over there. Ooh. I like having submachine gun grenades, despite what I said earlier about it being a way to not blow myself up. <laughs> I would actually still rather have them than not. Sure, you eat that, that's fine. So there's a battery on that, which I kind of want, but I'm also kind of nervous about frying myself trying to get it. Oh, let's be um, brave and possibly stupid. And some satchel charges. Right. Now, let's find out if Half-Life is playing to that game trope where you get given ludicrous amounts of health and, um, and weapon ammunition and, and so on and immediately come around a corner into some sort of horrific encounter. That door looks openable. Well, maybe openable. I've seen doors like that in the past and been able to open them. This is not one of those doors. <laughs> right. Okay, so this chapter's called Apprehension. I think I've... Um... I don't have control of this train. Ah! <laughs> right, okay, that was not my plan. Uh, <laughs> that looks dangerous. Um, yeah. I did not intend to go through there at about Mach 3. Um, <laughs> I intended to stop and shoot everybody, but the train wasn't... I don't know. I... Oh, I'm not. I'm not going to just entirely blame the tools because I probably pressed the wrong button. But, but yeah, let's just say I didn't intend to go flying through there at Mach three like that, and certainly didn't intend to go flying off the edge. Uh, and now I've got snipers. This is getting through basically all of my ammunition. Oh, well, I got one of them. You'd think I'd have learned by now just to switch straight to the Magnum when I'm doing long range shooting. Although, to be fair, I did only have four, four rounds for it. Also, why was I bothering with them? Maybe I'll find them later. I'll get, find my way back up there again later, rather. I don't know.
Yeah, I can see why this is called apprehension. This does feel <laughs> somewhat unsafe. Okay, this ladder, I'm guessing, is going to take me... Ow! It's not going to take me anywhere. Hacks. Right. Okay, that's not the way out then. That's where I came in. Is this entire area just a complete red herring? Maybe? Is this the staircase I came in through? Yes. Okay, so there is another way to go from down here. What? That? Hey? I've got myself turned round. This is where I. This is where I've just come from. Let's try that again with less fail. So, through here. And keep going through here. No, this is the same place. Okay, is there another way out of here then? I can't get up there. I've just been around this loop. There's no way I can jump over that, is there? Not with those boxes there, anyway. Oh! Oh no, that isn't a way through. This looks like a physics puzzle. That looks like another exit that I hadn't noticed before. Yeah, that looks a lot like a physics puzzle. Where was that red barrel I saw? There it is. Okay, let's go and find, try and find some more physics. There's some physics. Still need more physics. Okay. I may speed this bit up because I suspect it's not going to be all that exciting. I'm going to assume these boxes don't count as physics, uh, but that barrel does. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that might be jumpable. Right. That was... <laughs> that was a fail. This is why I stopped playing Mirror's Edge, I suspect. Right. Onwards and... that's a headcrab. That's not, it's a zombie. I've got to stop killing the zombies and not killing the headcrabs. That's just a trap waiting to happen.
Oh, it's a cable. It was a barnacle. <laughs> What's that? Those, those rucksacks, I think it might be. Alright, so we're gradually getting back up to um, where we fell down from. No! Oh. <laughs> this is going to take a while if I keep falling into these traps. No, the box, please. Thank you. Uh, so now I'm on the other side of that wall. But this time there's an actual ladder. No, there isn't a ladder to get out. It's not a ladder. Uh, there's a ladder there that doesn't go anywhere. At least this HEV suit is capable of holding its breath for a long time. He says, gradually running out. Oof, only just long enough to get through there with the, uh, with the distraction. really want to go down there it feels feels dangerous but that probably means it's the way to go ah yikes ow <laughs> okay not gonna lie that's not what I expected to happen guess I'm not going that way okay that was Oh, I see. <sighs> right. That's what I get for just assuming when I see these puzzles. I thought that billowing fire was coming from the, um... Well, would be turned off by turning the gas down, but no, that would be too obvious. Okay, this feels like I might have actually escaped from that. What is that? That was not even bleeding when I was shooting at it. I don't want to go in there. Okay, it seems like I've got out of the water at least for now. Um, so, in an attempt to leave a bit of suspense, let's call let's call the episode here, and uh, and then in the next one, we'll go and find out what on earth that giant creature was that just grabbed that scientist and jumped in the water. Till then, well, I hope you'll join me then, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I'll see you then.